And we're back, of course, with the interview section. We get to talk to a lot of people. And also today we have someone very special for you guys. To all the feminists, I'm here. And I'm very sure you guys are going to love her because she has all to tell you. Hey. Hi. Hey, Sharon. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We're very good. Please Thank introduce you. yourself. I am Sharon Karima. Mm -hmm. I'm the program coordinator at Art and Global Health Center Africa from Malawi. Okay, wow, yeah. that is really great. So, of course, uh, you have been taking part in the Hamway Festival. Yes. How has it been so far? Because uh, we had uh, one of the organizers here, mm -hmm. and uh, she was able to give a lot of insight. So that was before the the, the event started. Yeah. So how has it been so far? Now that it took place and it's ending tomorrow, right? Yes. Yes. So how has yeah. it been so far? It's been so great. So I started at attending the Women Leaders in Global Health Conference and it was so amazing. I made a lot of connections yeah. and I was lucky enough to be on a panel about, um, so I come from an arts background okay. where I've managed different projects. You could tell your earring, <laughs> they're very, very artistic. <laughs> yes. Yes. She loves mine because I think they're <laughs> So I feel left out. out of I feel here. left out, but okay. <laughs> yes. yes. So, um, I come from an arts background and I've managed so many projects, uh, health projects, mm. using participatory art and I believe in the power of arts because it's a universal of language, right? Is, yeah. You don't need to go to class to actually understand art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was in a panel session where I was able to share to the rest of the people what I've actually done mm. in the projects that have, uh, like different health projects and mm -hmm. it was so amazing. Yeah. I've learned from like a lot of people. Yeah. And then of course yesterday at the Shimatra's uh, concert, yeah. it was really good bringing different people from like different countries together, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. really great. So uh, let's talk about how you're such um, a feminist and mm -hmm. that part of your Self. That yeah. part uh, what, I love. <laughs> <laughs> what provoked it? Yeah, yes, am, she okay. is. So, what yeah, provoked um, uh, your passion to support women out yeah. there and also uh, bring about uh, the advocacy of gender equality? Yeah. So, where I come from, as I said, I come from Malawi, and it's such a shame to say that there's still so many, so many bad things done to women. Yeah. Women don't don't enjoy their rights. We've got the rights mm -hmm. to freedom of dressing, freedom of speech, employment, economic mm. empowerment. It's, it's, it's such a shame that those things are not being enjoyed. Yeah. So when I was young, um, I could see, so I grew up in an extended family where you would stay aunt, uncles, cousins, yeah. and I could, I could see the injustices that were being done to the women around me. Mm. And then even for the people, for the, for, for the women that were married, I could see that they were not happy, they were being abused both physically, emotionally, even sure. economically, yeah. but they couldn't leave because they weren't aware of their rights yeah. and they were not educated, yeah. so they, they had nowhere to go, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what sparked that interest yeah, in yes. me. And I was like, you know what? I wish there was a way that I could contribute to changing this. Mm -hmm. And I was privileged to actually meet people, women, especially like uh, women with the same interest as me. Mm -hmm. And th those are the women that actually paved the way for me yeah, to be able and to, to, to have that space to actually fight for uh, girls and women's rights. Wow, wow, that's really great. Are those yeah. the women who are part of Young Feminists Africa? Yes, yes, these are amazing girls and women and mm -hmm. I've learned so much from them. We've got that sisterhood, you yeah, know, we true. support mm -hmm. each other and it's been great. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, looking at the fact that you uh, came to Hamway Festival mm -hmm. and so far so good, what has been the biggest takeaway that you're having from there and something that you can share with us even while the concert was going on, mm -hmm. how you saw the women or the different speakers, mm -hmm. how the panel discussion went yeah. and all that, please share with us. Yeah, so for me, I think I've been living I'm embarrassed to say that, yeah. but I guess I was like in my own bubble where I couldn't actually connect how all these sectors can yes. actually contribute. Yeah, I know I'm all about sustainable development goals, but I think I was just stuck to health and, you know, gender equality. Mm. But um, being in a space where I talked to different women. Yeah, it opened up your eyes. It, yeah, and mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from them. So this is something that I'm actually going to bring to the rest of my friends as well, both at home mm. and the young feminists as well, to yeah. see how we can actually coordinate with all the SDGs. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. really great. Yeah, I have a burning question, yes. which has been, uh, an issue that is going on among us young girls mm -hmm. who it might be out of the feminist path yeah. but now it looks to their health and mm -hmm. to their future as well. Yeah. Girls who by like 
by mistake or sometimes uh, are unaware. Are unaware, mm -hmm. and then they get to have babies mm -hmm. at a very young age. Yeah, early pregnancies. You know, early pregnancies today. Yeah. It's something that is really hurting. Their numbers are really see. rising. Same, yeah. same as my country. Yeah. As well. So, yeah. what do, what do you think? is going to be the right approach, strategy yeah. mm -hmm. or approach to actually helping these girls mm -hmm. out and also putting the, the, the rate down, bringing mm -hmm. the bar down to the fact that there is now a low rate, mm -hmm. then it comes to zero. That is exactly what I'm doing. Yes. So, you so know, we've tried it. so mm -hmm. many things. We've, tran uh, we've tried van mobilizations where there's a car with, with, with a PS system moving around the communities, um, practice the ABC method, or do this, do that, don't mm -hmm. do this, go for testing. But people are not going for testing. Of course, Sexual yeah. harassment is still there, mm -hmm. okay? And the girls don't realize, that's the sad thing, the girls don't realize that they're being harassed mm. they're sexual abuse I've had in the university that I was it's still going on up until now where lecturers are actually asking girls to sleep with them otherwise they're going to fail them yeah you that's know? a common uh, yeah yeah catch of, talk of cultural practices where I don't know if you have initiation ceremonies here mm -hmm. so where in my country we have initiation ceremonies where girls to Apparently, it will symbolize mm -hmm. <laughs> that you're moving from a girl to a woman. You have to sleep with a random man that is provided oh in the village. Goodness. And that is unprotected sex. Yes. So they end up getting pregnant, STIs, unwanted pregnancies. Yeah. You know? It's such a major issue. So, what me and my organization did, I work at For Art and Global Health Center. Okay, yes. I think I did that mention. Is, yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. great to know. So, what we did is we came up with a behavior change model where we thought, what is the different method that is going to to go across in the communities that people are not using to mm. actually stop early pregnancies, the spread of HIV, AIDS, and unwanted pregnancies. Yeah. Mm. That is where we came with That's, art. Yeah. Mm. So what we do with art is um, we recruit students from various um, universities and high schools, and then we train them on different participatory art forms. Yeah. And the unique thing is we don't only uh, recruit students that have an art background. So we recruit students from everywhere. Yeah, so that they can that learn as well. They could be part of something. Those that are doing IT, they're doing engineering. We, we recruit all students and then we teach them different participatory art forms. So we use dance, music, theater, drama. And when we use art, we provide this space where it's entertainment, yes, yes. but it carries that message where everyone is able to is free to actually interact. So we invite the police, we invite the lecturers themselves, yeah. the local leaders, these are the people that can actually change the policies and the laws and mm -hmm. you know, so it's been very it's been very great because everyone has been free to talk about it and interact. So we use art for engagement, it's like yeah. a tool for engagement. Yeah, and the the, the, the funny thing is that once they're in, a, when once they're incorporated into such activities, mm -hmm. activities such as the arts, mm -hmm. they tend to get distracted because when sometimes when the females are seen uh, indulging into such activities, mm -hmm. is because they sometimes don't have what to live for that is or true. something that is actually important yeah. to put their minds to. So the incorporation of arts is really important, yes. and uh, we really are happy that you guys are trying to. Make a difference. It's, it's, it's been great. It's yes. an amazing journey, and yes. I'm glad I've, I've of been course. part of it. <laughs> wow. So, this is something I'm going to ask you. Just yes. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> it, it really beats my mind when it comes to girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I really, I really feel like there is something that there is a a strategy, a very deep strategy that mm -hmm. should be used amongst them because sometimes you sensitize them mm -hmm. but nothing comes out of it. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like it's the peer pressure or mm -hmm. it's 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 the people that you move with mm -hmm. that actually uh, you know, step into your life and make you feel like this is okay to mm -hmm. do. And I think that's a good thing that you guys do. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. me. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. So it's 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 something that really 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 beats my mind and thinks that you guys are working on it because the girls are the mothers mm -hmm. mm, <laughs> to the nation. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, personally to you, I I would love to know more of your passions when it comes to the arts scene yeah. yes. and what you love because you look like someone who loves spoken word or this yeah. or this. Which one do you love? Surprisingly, I love theater. So I love yeah, theater. I mentioned really I cool mentioned though. in drama when I was in the university, and this okay. is this is the funny part. So arts in Malawi is not taken as something serious. Oh really? And yeah. yeah. So when I was in third year, time to choose my major. 
I mentioned I, I choose to major in drama. And then people were walking up to me. They're like, what? Why is a beautiful girl like you out of all a the beautiful courses? beautiful girl. Yeah. <laughs> she is, yes. Self-acknowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're like, why is a beautiful girl like you, why have you chosen to major in drama? It's yeah. not going to take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's IT, there's business, there's whatever. Why are you choosing to go that through that career mm. path? Mm -hmm. But for me, it's something that I've always loved. And yeah, I'm were glad about that, it. yeah, I'm glad that I ignored them. But look at me now, I'm using art for like social change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wh so which is really great. important. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what, what do you hope for yourself and uh, your organization in the next five years or 10 years? Mm -hmm. What do you guys hope to achieve? We hope to reach out to more girls and not just more girls. So I forgot to say, we also recruit men. Okay. okay? That is really important. We recruit boys and men because we need to change the narrative. Okay. Yes. We need to change need to the change perception the that they as have. Well. Mm -hmm. You know, they have, we need to encourage positive masculinity. Mm -hmm. They lie to each other, this is what it, it is to be a man. You mm -hmm. need to be macho, you need to do this, you need mm -hmm. to do that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You need, uh, consent is a major issue. Mm -hmm. like for both girls and women, yeah. you know? So we're also recruiting these boys and girls to actually change the narrative. So we hope to reach out to more people, to reach more people and to see the greater impact. And obviously, achieve the sustainable woman oh, goal. Of course. <laughs> I that love is, that fact that even yes. men are being taught because we usually have this thing here in our country mm -hmm. where girls, before they get married, they sit them down and then they tell them, this is, a, this is what you're supposed to do, this is what you're supposed yeah. to do. So I think even men should be sad down and <laughs> told how to be a man or yeah. how to be a husband to someone you know yeah. so they, they, they lack that and I think it should also be there mm -hmm. you know even there. in girls when they're being taught about marriage mm -hmm. you need to do this no don't do this don't do that your husband do the husbands uh, and, do and they sat down and actually exactly told what do they know do? because or we also have our own rights and we have our own expectations yeah. so if they expect to do something yeah. we so we that's what we're be. trying to do like changing the narrative yeah. and promoting positive masculinity yes. okay said enough our interview is coming to the end but before we leave we always have this question we always ask for our dear viewers yeah. what you would love to tell them that keeps them going especially for the girls even for the guys yes. to know what 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 uh, can drive them and mm -hmm. they'll always remember that yeah Sharon said this. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all I would say encouraging the girls to actually live their dream mm -hmm. like there's no limitations the sky is the limit mm -hmm. and for someone who comes from an arts background and I believe in the power of arts let's embrace it yes. let's not stop people take who it want in to take in it in art mm -hmm. you know you need to support them and you never know how it's going to work out mm -hmm. as you see for me like global health is equal to art you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. so embrace it mm -hmm. don't discourage people if True. they want to pursue yes. art we can put it to good use thank you so much for stopping thank by you, you have brought <laughs> so much insight and it's really great that uh, the youth out there and also people out there uh, got to hear what you have yeah. to say uh, on certain different topics thank you so really much greatly. for inviting me of course <laughs> and feel free to stop by anytime you're in the country i will yes. i hope to come back of course <laughs> you should <laughs> okay Hi. so i hope you guys enjoyed the interview and i'm very sure you learned a lot from Miss uh, Sharon uh, Kalima and I'm very sure you guys need to also learn and also talk to your dear friends and tell them about the different things that you've learned. So we are still your girls, Chasey and Martina. Martina.